All right, so it's been a little while. We're going to do Animal Crossing. Hey, Jay. Uh, we haven't done Animal Crossing in a while, but uh, there's a reason why we're doing it today. Well, there's a couple reasons. We got some some stuff to do, but um, yeah, uh, you'll you'll see why as soon as Isabel announces. I have been keeping up with this game pretty much every day, though, just doing, like, all the minimal stuff, you know, saying hi to everybody, shaking the trees, hitting the rocks, doing the, doing all the things, uh, uh, the, oh, you're the one that asked me about all the crossover fan fiction. <laughs> okay, alright, I, I remember now. Alright, there's Rudy. Oh, I should probably lower the volume on my TV so it's not coming through the mic too hard. There we go. And here comes the dog to come bang on the door. And here's the other dog, the one that behaves herself. Good morning, good evening, everybody. It's 8.34 p.m. on Friday, June 26, 2020. Today is Marina's birthday. That's why we're on for today. <laughs> so, last stream of Animal Crossing was Alfonso's birthday. The stream before that was Zell's birthday, and now it's Marina's birthday. I coincidentally have three villagers with birthdays in June. Uh, wish I could play Animal Crossing 2, but I'm uh, bad. I'm not much of a game. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, honestly, I... I I'm only playing this because of the quarantine, and I saw everybody else I know play it, so I figured... I've never played a mainline Animal Crossing game. Why Why the hell not? I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll play it. I've only played Pocket Camp, which was like the mobile game, and I played it when it was good. And I've talked about this before. I played it before they, they wrecked it, but uh, anyway, here we are in Animal Crossing. Let's check our mail. Got a, oh, I got a letter from Zell. What are you, what are you gonna, I was sitting down enjoying a cold fizzy water when I suddenly thought of you. Weird, huh? Yeah, yeah, that is weird, Zell. Were you drinking some fizzy water at the time? I just had to know. I wrote you this, so I wrote you this letter. Curiously, Zell. Just gonna go ahead and close that. Alright, um, before we do anything, I do need to get to the Taylor's shop and see what they got here. Oh! KK Slider's here? What's he doing here? It's not Saturday. Oh, uh, well, people are going to say, well, right, well, I guess we'll we'll go see him in a minute. Um, most of the quarantine, I've been working on a fan for crossover and my... Con oh, cool. Yeah, everybody's been doing projects. Uh, hey, Angus is here. Except for me, because my, my job didn't close down because I'm an essential service. So, which is why I've not really been pumping out a lot of content. Hey, Angus, what you doing here? Let's see, Rob. I'm going to watch and learn from what, what you pick out. Oh, uh, are you now? I reckon I ought to start by trying on everything they got in the shop. It's free to try things on, right? Yep. All right, Angus. Okay, what do we, we got? Some uh, we got some groovy tunics. Cool. We have hula loop, humble sweater. Mm. <laughs> oh boy, those those would go well with the groovy tunics. All right, what is that? Gizzard shed sushi costume. What? But why though? Yeah, we got, I, I actually bought all the Viking helmets, so I'm good on those. Um, all right, let's. I'm gonna buy a groovy tunic. We can pretend to be Harv. Where the where where are those crazy pants? All right, here we go. <laughs> yes, um, there's gonna be a big update. Uh, starting in July, and it's in a couple of couple of days actually. So uh, I'll probably uh, actually tomorrow there's an event, but I don't think I'll be I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Uh, but we'll see. I like the uh, the Robbie Rotten pants. <laughs> actually, 
uh, one of these go better with that? Not really. Mm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the Robbie Rotten pants. You get tired a lot, yeah. I too have been tired, which is why it's taken me forever to to put out cartoon clip show. But it's it's coming, just it's coming. All right, okay. My business with the tailors are done. You ship your purchase directly to your storage. Okay, cool. Thank you. Why the hell is KK Slider here, though? I don't understand that. He, he only comes on Saturdays, right? All right, well, let's go to the shop here. We're going to buy... We're going to see what the shop has. We're going to get some wrapping paper for Marina's gift. They have a toilet, but I have toilet. They have, yeah, I have I have all of this, so I'm good. Got any cool wallpapers? Uh, I, th I think they just have the same stuff over and over. Eh. Eh. All right. Thanks, fellas. Just out of curiosity, though, how much are the turnip prices? I I've not been doing turnips because I have so much money in the bank. 155, that's not too bad, I guess. You kind of new to this platform? Eh. It's okay. Usually I get like one or two people in here that know what... Well, every, everybody's gathering around too. What, what? Hey, yo, what are you doing here, man? This scene is not the scene until you make the scene. Can we slap some drinks for you? Oh, okay. Let's let's hear a KK Slider song. Hmm. Let's see. I'm in a mood. Play something laid back. We all need to. We all need to chill. It's Friday. All right, I'm gonna sit next to Annabelle. Everybody's here. I wonder who's at Marina's birthday. All right, well, we're gonna listen to some KK music.
Yay, KK Slider. Best anime rap music in the world. I want to give your pockets a glance and slip to your boot of the show. It was like, unreal. Thanks for tuning in your doubt in my direction. You're welcome, KK. I still don't know why you're here. Hey, Annabelle, you know why he's here? What a super even, Cottontail. You're still saying Cottontail. You gotta stop saying that. Just walking around the island and you know getting a face out there building my brand being famous. Hope so. You're not gonna get famous on my stream. Hey, it's Cupcake. Everyone, stop calling me that. Yeah, the great day. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. You really, you find this fashionable? A little weirdo. Alfonso, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? I might copy you. I could be Rob Jr. for the day. Please don't. Anka? Okay, you look like you need something. Give me a moment. It's on your mind. <laughs> the bug off is on to. Oh, yeah, the bug off is the event for tomorrow. It's like bug catching. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream it then. I might be busy, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Apparently, it's every Saturday until September, so we might do it at some point. I'm going to chase after those bugs like I chase after the bouquet at my friend's weddings. <laughs> I don't know why you got up for that. I would Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe, the real American hero, and Jose from Cyber 6 interact. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Jose is kind of a... I, I would imagine they, they would they would try to, like, outdo each other, maybe. Because, you know, the Jose is, is, like, egotistical and... He has a Napoleon complex, and Cobra Commander thinks he's, like, the hot shit, you know? Anyway, uh, oh, shoot, I, I didn't buy... Alright, I'll get it on the way out. Alright, let, let me change out of this outfit. Um, once again, I don't know why I'm dressed like this. I think we, we had another wild party the other night, and I woke up looking like this. So, uh, yeah. We need something a little bit better. Uh, I wanna... I have two of these, really? Um, I wanna try something different. I always go to my, like, my tuxedo as my, uh... My default. Maybe we'll try something else. Something nice. But one of these full body suits. Maybe. God, I have so m I have I have so much clothes. It's ridiculous. Uh denim vest? Nah. Denim jacket. Guy Fieri. Hey, someone replaced your your clothing and your stole your original outfit while you were blacked out. Probably. I don't know, man. It, it keeps happening around here, and I'm starting to get a little suspicious of of stuff. School jacket. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear one of these. These shirts are awesome. I'm gonna wear one of these. I need pants to match. Yeah. We're going full rock star. Let's see, we need a we need a rock star hat. <laughs> uh nah, we're not doing that. Um <clears throat> uh, Go, cow skull hat with the skull shirt. There we go. Uh, do I want to buy... Oh, I'm going to put shades on. I'm going to get rid of this mask. This is how we're going to Marina's party, by the way. Yeah. No. Yeah, now we're talking. And shoes. Give me those uh, rubber high tops. Yes. Yes. Brutal. All right, now we need to find a gift for Marina. I have lots of stuff. We need to, we're need. we probably going to clean out my inventory tonight. They got too much. All right. I say we give Marina another pretty dress. I think I have extras of some of these. Yeah, sailor's tea? I got two of these. Maybe, oh, no, she kind of has one of those already. 
pin tuck pleated dress. We're going to give her this. There we go. I'm going to go get some wrapping paper. So none of these, none of these guys are here. We, we're probably going to need... Uh, uh, Am I the only one in this live stream? Uh, the only time I was the only one of my favorite YouTube live stream. Um, yeah, not, not too many people are, are into my gaming stuff, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because this is like the, the opportunity to like talk to me. <laughs> and no one shows up. Alright, we're gonna do purple. I only want one. Although I do have six people in chat right now, so... Or at least six people watching, so... Okay. Uh, no, don't want to wear it. Wrap it. And we have the KK song, I gotta put that... Okay. Let me, let me upload this KK album first. Okay. I think this is the first time I can remember having heard about your game stream. Huh? Really? I I post about it all the time. It's on. I post about it on Twitter all the time. I even made like announcements about it too on the main channel. All right. Well. Anyway, let's go say hi to Marina, and happy birthday. And Rudy's here. Cupcake, come in. I'm so glad you're here. Please stop calling me Cupcake. What's up, Rudy? Way to be here, Robbie. I'm hoping you'd show up. Today's Marina's birthday. Let's let's make a party to remember. You bet. <laughs> Rudy Rudy is a, a stand up guy. He's uh, he's he's likable for everybody. Um Alright, let's give Marina her present. So flattering to have visitors on my birthday, and it's really touched me. Touched that some of my friends had gifts for me, and I got one for you too. It's mostly your fault. I follow way too many people on Twitter. Yeah, I've I've had that problem too. I had to I had to clean out my follow list because I, I was following like a lot of celebrities and comedians and voice actors and a whole bunch of other like YouTubers and stuff, and like the 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 Twitter feed gets a little too. A little too crowded sometimes. Sometimes you, you have to do that. Oh, for me, really? It's so. This is so exciting. I hope someone might bring me a pin tuck pleated dress. This is really great. <laughs> yes, another pretty dress for for Marina the octopus to wear. Because I I keep that's like a running thing here. I keep giving her pretty dresses to wear. This this isn't weird. This is totally normal. Thank you very much. I feel like this year's birthday will be a hard one to forget. You bet. Yay. Can I have some of that cake? Oh, you can like do... Oh, I didn't know that. You can like... Oh, cool. You can... You can put the candles on and off. We'll leave them on. Favorite, favorite total drama character. Um... I liked Izzy. <laughs> Izzy was awesome. Alright, that's good. Alright, well, uh, you guys have fun together. I got chores to do. Hang out already? Thank you again for coming to see me and bringing me a present too. I hope you be you'll continue being such a good friend to me. As long as you're a good friend to other people, Marina, because... Listen, we need to talk about Marina. So, like I said, I've been playing this in, like every day just to keep up with it. And there have been multiple instances where Marina is talking to a villager and gets into an argument with them. And she says something mean. And this is, like, it, uh, your favorite is Lightning Shaman. <laughs> 
This is, oh god, wasp. I forgot, I forgot to put my net out. Go inside, go inside. Okay. <laughs> Eva? Ah. Uh, I liked Gwen, too. I, I was, I was kind of hoping she would win. But, uh, actually, there, there's an alternate ending where she wins, but I think the official winner was Owen, but that's okay. Uh, so anyway, Marina has been kind of tr a trouble because she keeps arguing with the villagers and making them mad. I don't, I don't like that. But normally she's like really nice and polite. So I'm, I'm suspecting Marina might be like one of those girls that is al just always nice to you, but then kind of like secretly plots your destruction, you know? Okay, we saw everybody, except there's um, Mira. Ah, Mira's working on something. Hey, it's the chalkboard I gave her yesterday because she wanted it. See, is it really coming along? What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a dark wooden mosaic wall. This DIY stuff takes some major elbow grease, so I like to go in, go all in on it. It's so worth the effort, though. Oh, already crammed your brain with the... Oh, I have it already. Uh, that seemed like uh, a place... Seemed out of place in Animal Crossing. Sounds like one of those animal fem Sounds like one of those anime female characters. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's um, th this game has like some weird, like um, just things about it. All right. Well, thank you, Mira. You you have always been a delight since day one. I have nothing, nothing bad to say about Marie, uh, Mira. And well, aside from that, she gave me a DIY recipe for something I don't have. I already have, but that's not her fault. Let's check the shoreline for any things. Nothing here. Hey, there's Zell. Zell gonna go back. Oh wow. I've actually never seen villagers, like, go back into their house before. That's interesting. I thought they just kind of spawn in or out of their houses. But whatever. Hey, Zell. Um, listen, we need to talk about that letter you sent me. Yes, I'm glad you came to visit. Okay, calm down. Well, you're looking breezy, Rob. Glad to see you're all decked out for the season. Yes, the season. <laughs> With my skull shirt, my skull hat, and my, my digital shades. Seriously, I wish I had that good sense to be wearing a skull tee. <laughs> I can get you one. If you want, I have like three of them. It's gonna be a new one though, not one I've worn. Weirdo. That's Zell, our resident handsome boy. Uh, saw saw Rudy. I didn't see I didn't see Audie anywhere. Just probably, it might be in the museum. <clears throat> we shall see. All right, time to shake the trees and do the things. Do the fun stuff. Yeah. So I I have been banging the rocks, but I've only oh I've only been banging to find the money rock, which I just found. I might have ruined it though yep all right well whatever money is no object anymore in this game I will dig up this fossil though oh yeah we do have stuff to donate to the museum we'll get to that in a bit who would win sergeant slaughter versus monstar uh honestly uh, I'm uh, because I'm reviewing uh, Silverhawks next. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. Monstar kind of sucks <laughs> as a bad guy, so I think Sergeant Slaughter will absolutely destroy him. <laughs> like he looks cool. He he looks intimidating, but he's not. He's he's terrible. Bees! Yeah. 
Gotcha. Who's Monstar? Uh, the villain from Silverhawks. He's basically a worse version of Mumra. Because as we know, all of Rankin Bass TV shows are basically the same. Hey, there's a furniture. DJ turntable, awesome. And more bells. Ah, oh, Atlas Moth, whatever. I don't need I don't need to sell bugs no more. I'm rich. I'm I'm waiting for that, that million dollar crown to show up at the tailor shop. Yeah, I do this and it keeps the uh, keeps the money flowing. Plant money trees that grow money bags. Mm. Yes, delightful. Mm. So much money. Mm. Eh. Now we destroy the old tree and plant a new one. And we get more money. More money. All right. Anything? Where? Where's the bottle? Is that a... Nope, not a shark. Okay. Not that I need to catch the sharks anyway. I, I ha officially have all of the fish and bugs for the month. I've had them for a while. Are we going to donate the ones I didn't get last time? Wait, let me see what's in the bottle. I was cleaning and found this DIY recipe written on a piece of paper that I used as a bookmark. I didn't want to waste a good, the, the, the Gladys Handcrafts lover. Peach hat. I already know it. Wonderful. Uh... You do know that apparently if Thundercats 2011 continues, it was going to be a explanation for Monstar's transformation. Yeah, I, I've heard about that. Because they, they tried to integrate actual, like, Silverhawks and, um, and, uh, Tiger Sharks, actually, which is really obscure, into 2011 Thundercats, which would have been great. But, of course, because we're not allowed to have nice things, that show got canceled. Because they they actually they never explained how it worked in the show. It just kind of it just kind of was a thing, and we just had to accept it because you know it's for kids and we have. Hey, someone's at the campsite. Did Isabel say that? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember hearing her say that. All right, I must have not been paying attention. All right, whatever. We'll we'll go uh, terrorize them later. No need to bang the rocks. Hopefully we'll find the last piece of furniture real quick. Bees! Okay, there, there's the fish, by the way. We're going to donate. I'll, I'll show those off in a minute. Money. Okay. All right, so here's uh, here's the other two sharks that I didn't catch last time. Is a sawfish and friggin' whale shark, which is kind of sad in this in this pool that I have them in, and uh, this this whatever the heck this one was. Also, I have a piece of artwork from Red and his uh, awful fake art, but I guarantee this one's real. Because apparently this particular one is always real. It's not one of the ones where he tries to, to fool you. And I've talked about this before. But, like... The the differences in, in like, the real and fake art that he sells... 
are, are, are oftentimes so small that you can't, you can barely even tell. I found it odd there wasn't a toy based on lunatics, considering they were, uh, they appear a lot more in the, yeah. I, I was kind of, there was a, there was a couple of characters that needed toys that, and there was a bunch of characters that got toys that didn't deserve toys. Like, the, the most expensive Thundercats toy right now is this, uh, it's a figure of a character called Stinger, or something, he's like a, a bug guy. He only appeared in the UK comic book for Thundercats. He was never in the show, nobody knew who he was, and yet they gave him an action figure. Come on, where's that furniture? I don't need your money. Is, CJ's not here, is he? Anybody here? Oh, I doubt Flick is going to show up because he's going to be here every Saturday now, apparently. Which is good, because then I won't have to wait for him to sell bugs, or... Or get a model of something. I mean, there was a cancelled action figure for Red Eye, one of the members of the... Yeah. Was there? I, I had not seen that. Say, what's the two-hour video I mentioned? Ah, uh, yes. On Twitter, I mentioned that I was working on a, a two-hour-long uh, video... For the toy channel because I haven't posted anything on there in a while. Um, the the video is me going through sorting and getting rid of some of my CDs, my music CDs, because I feel it, it's probably time to let some of those go because they were kind of dusty and I, I haven't used any of them in a very long time. Let's see if I can catch this. Aha! Gotcha. So it's basically just me going going through them one by one and deciding whether or not I'm going to keep them. And uh, not not to spoil anything, but I got rid of surprisingly quite a few of them. So if you're interested in seeing what my CD collection looked like, that video should be up possibly tomorrow. I uploaded it today. It uh, depends on how long it's going to take to convert because it's huge. Panthro versus Soundwave. Who would win? Oh, man. Am I going to put them up on eBay? Uh, no, I'm actually... Um, well, I was going to for a couple because I think some of them had a little bit of... A uh, little bit of collector's value, but I decided I'm, I'm not going to go through the trouble. I'm actually going to give them to... Uh, well, I'm, I'm selling them to... Uh, there's a place down uh, south of me called CD Trader, and they buy... Blu-rays and and DVDs and video games and stuff. Uh, oh well, I guess there's no. You got all the trees. I don't know where the other furniture is. So uh, I'm I'm gonna be giving them to that because I'm I'm mostly just looking to get rid of them as fast as possible. All right. Uh, okay, we got our we got all the well we got five. I must have missed one one day. Okay, so let's go ahead and donate all these to the museum. And donate this painting, which is really cool, by the way. I kind of, kind of like this one. Let's see if I can show it. Oh wow, you can't see it. <laughs> so, all right, well we'll look at it in the in the museum when it's hung up. Hello, Blathers. I got donations, and lucky you, none of them are bugs. Alright, first of all, let me get these fossils assessed. I get the fossils assessed, and I just sell them, because they're... I have the full fossil set already, so who cares? Well, the one I see, let's take a closer look, shall we? 
Yes, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know. I, I find it interesting he says I'd like to purchase them for my private collection, but he doesn't. I think I think that would be a really cool addition, like, like how there's certain NPCs that'll buy stuff for higher price. Like Flick and CJ, where they buy the bugs and, and fish, but it'd be cool if Blathers buys the, the, the fossils off of you. Although, I guess, you know, considering how many doubles you get, all right, I understand why. All right, so a uh, giant snakehead is the fish that I caught in the river. Oh, no, it was a pond. Got in the pond. This must be a giant snakehead. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about the giant snakehead? Yes. Because this is an educational stream. The giant snakehead is quite a sight to behold. What? One, gl one glance conjures up visions of its namesake. This resilient creature can even find a home in the mud where it's able to breathe. As a matter of fact, it dislikes cold weather, so during wintertime, the mud serves as its temporary home. I hear that they eat anything that swims past their heads. While odd, I feel a sense of owlship with them. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, what if Jose from Sagar 6 compete in total drama? <laughs> I think he would fit right in. Considering how, like, devious and backstabbing a lot of those characters were. If you got any 80s metal CDs, I'll be buy uh, I'll be buying them. Um, well, I don't, I got rid of a, shoot, there were so many, it all kind of went as a blur. Um, you'll have to maybe check the video, because I have, uh, I, I have, I had quite a variety of things, and I had, it's mostly why I was getting rid of stuff, because I, it's like, I had too much. I only kept stuff that I really, really liked or uh, had some kind of sentimental value to me. So uh, you'll have to maybe go through the video and see what I, what I pulled out of my, my shelf. All right. Anyway, giant snakehead into your pocket. Make a donation. Saw shark. I, I, for the longest time, I never knew that this was a real fish. I always thought it was like a joke that they had in cartoons where, like, they go underwater and it's like, ah, the, look at the sawfish. He has a saw for a nose. Nope. Real fish. Real thing. In fact, the first time I ever saw one was on that old Flipper TV show when they used to air it on Nickelodeon. As you might expect from the name, the saw shark is a shark with a head that resembles a saw. This unusual appendage is used both to dig potential prey out of the sand and as a weapon a weapon against said prey. Given that, it seems like more of an appropriate name would have been Shovel Sword Shark. Eh, what? There you have Shovel Knight Sword Shark. Uh, it's a good thing that I managed to get a volume comic of Cyber 6 on eBay only $3 less, for only 3 Wow, really? I couldn't find any English versions of that. Like I, I wanted to read it for my review, just to just so I get a good idea of you know what what the comic was like. But like I, I only found like um, Spanish and French versions or Italian versions or something. And I don't ever remember seeing that like published in the U.S. So I'm I'm guessing they just didn't, at least not officially. All right, the big boy, the whale shark. No, my uh, yes, facts on the whale shark. The mighty whale shark is the largest species of fish in the world, with specimens up to 60 feet long. Unlike many of their kin in the shark family, whale sharks are non-violent, eating only po plankton and such. I almost said Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know why I almost said Pokemon. <laughs> They're eating only plankton and such. They grow slowly and live long, relaxed lives of filter feeders and leisure in, swar in warm waters. So if you ever have to choose a fish as a roommate, you could do worse than a whale shark. I actually saw a whale shark, unless you can't swim. I actually saw a whale shark. I didn't know they had them in captivity. It was at the um, the Atlanta Zoo? Or the, the Atlanta Aquarium. Yeah. So if you, uh, I don't know if they still have it, but there you go. You can see a whale shark in a tank. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised as you. It's not... Uh, English, but I managed to translate the comic and the three stories 
were weird and lots of different, uh, a lot different. They, yeah, I e even though I never read the comic, I um, I did hear about a lot of the differences that were made. And uh, I'm sure most of that was for TV, you know, so they can air it on Fox Kids. So, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a shame that franchise is kind of dead in the water. I would, I would love to see it maybe try to make a comeback. Okay, uh, unless I'm mistaken, uh, I am not. That is a sinking painting. Oh, but it's so much more than a sink painting. We could have imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honor. Thank you, Blathers. I shall leave details about your donation for all to read once it's on display. Please do check back later. All right, cool. We're good. Museum business taken care of for pretty much the month. Claim, claim my uh, my Nook Miles. I, man, I have a lot of Nook Miles. Because I don't need to visit islands anymore. And I don't need to buy anything with them. Alright, let's go see that painting. And then we'll see, see if we go see the whale shark. Not here. Oh my god. Every time I come here, it's like... God, this is gonna take forever to 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 fill up. Look at this. Friggin' red with his cheap knockoff art. There it is, okay. Yeah, three paintings. In in like what, four or five months? I think the reason why the comic didn't translate to English was possibly due to some conflict from what I've seen behind the artist bar. Really? That's interesting. Sinking painting, June uh, June twenty eighth, uh, June twenty sixth, twenty twenty, donated by Rob. Ophelia, John Everett Miles, eighteen fifty two, oil on canvas. Ophelia is a tragic figure in the Shakespearean play Hamlet. There is an otherworldly expression on her face as she lies unconscious in the river. She is surrounded by the beauty of nature as she floats between life and death. Wow, that's pretty, pretty heavy for Animal Crossing. Can I get? There we go. Yeah, this one's really cool. It's one of the few uh, paintings that Red has that um, is has no fake. It's always real. I, I thought it was gonna be fake because the the two top corners were kind of weird looking, but I guess that's just how it is. <clears throat> yeah, this one and this one are the uh, the two two. Well, I'm sure there's other ones, but uh, yeah, all the all the rest of them are. Or at least most of them are going to have fakes. So we're going to have to keep an eye out. <sighs> Freaking red. Alright, let's go see the whale shark. It was really unfortunate. The artist behind the Cyber 6 comic died. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. I'm guessing the whale shark is going to be with the ocean fish. Possibly. Yep, there it is. Freaking huge. He's hanging out with the Great White. Hope they get along. Anchovy, Blue Marlin, Tuna, Trinitro Valley. Nope. Other side. There he is. Absolute unit. The whale shark. There's a the sucker fish. Horse mackerel and the great white. Hey man, you keep that great white in line. You keep him away from the other fish, all right? All right, cool. Uh, haven't seen Audi. Yeah, it did have a very, very cool, unique style to it. And it translated well to the show, especially with the really good animation. Hey, yo, Audi, you're in. You in here? No, Audi's not in here. Maybe she's maybe she's in the bug exhibit. We're gonna we're gonna look for Audie real quick. 
If, if she's not here, she's probably back at her house. Audie, you're the only villager I haven't talked to yet. Where are you? Not here. She's not in the butterfly house. In the butterfly cage. Nope. All right, she's not here. Or she might be in the dinosaur exhibit. Interestingly enough, I actually saw... Um, because the lore of this game... Or the lore of my playthrough of this game is apparently Angus and Audie are dating. Because they, I see them together a lot. And I actually... Yesterday, I saw them together in the museum... Like they were on a date or something. That reminds me, I do have pictures of stuff that I've uh, have to show off as soon as we're we're done here. Yeah, I don't think Audie's here, unless she's in this last room. I have an idea for a comic and a cartoon that's about a hero born from a black hole and is all about the main hero itself trying to control or overcome his power uh, that is a uh, fear for him. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on my own stuff right now. Well, uh, mostly. I'm mostly just... Uh, at, right now, I'm just kind of directing uh, an artist that I'm, I'm working with. But uh, we're we're hoping to move a little little l move it a little along for uh, you know because it's taking forever and and I I don't have the time to work on it like I I would like so okay I don't know where Audie is we're gonna check her house again we also gotta check and see who's at the the campsite. Everybody still having a good time? Cool. Where the heck are you, Audie? The summer shell? Yes. Rare summer shell. I do have to get the uh, get to the the Nook boys before they close. Hey, Zell, what's up? You looking to buy some clothes? Now the the Hedgehog sisters are asleep. I created a sketch and I was and I even published some sketches on my character design on DeviantArt. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, where am I? What am I doing? All right, we're selling. Uh. What are, we, what are we getting rid of? Uh, Arch get rid of these bees. DJ turntable. Save that. Archeon skull. Yeah, I, I pretty much have all the the fossils I want to keep. It's old. Let me uh, let me check the, the thing here. I like how I've not talked to Nook in a while. I've not talked to Nook or Isabel in forever. Actually, I should. Uh, uh, Monster transformation is music to my ear. Yeah, it's really cool when he does it. It's just uh, there's just no explanation for it. It just, just kind of happens. 
I and I uh, I really like and I I oh, KK Bus. I don't know if I have that one yet. Um, I mentioned it. I'm gonna mention it in the review, but the the animation for his transformation in the intro is awesome. The intro itself is pretty awesome, but um, just just that just that one particular scene is really cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Isabel because I want to see something real quick. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna change the island tune. Oh, I, I gotta come up with an island tune. I never did that. Uh, discuss a resident. You the problem having trouble with another resident. But if you're already try, tried talking with them, I'll certainly intervene. I have no problem. Okay, is this, is this for people who's causing trouble? I want this island to be a welcoming place for all. So, so do you still need my help? Yeah. Oh, I guess this is like, I, I think this is if I want to boot someone out. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we're good. Okay, uh, what I was hoping to do is, because like all the, re the residents have like the wrong catchphrases and they're all calling me nicknames and stuff, I was hoping this would be a way to like reset them. But, um, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess you can't do that. Alright, well, th thanks anyway, Isabel. You get you give someone a new catchphrase and then suddenly they're all saying it. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me uh, let me see if I have that KK album before I order it. KK KK Blues. I do not. I will order it from my phone. Like someone who lives in the 21st century. My thoughts on Made in Abyss? I have not seen it. I don't really know much about it. It's like a bunch of kids that are like... It's like a fantasy thing, and there's like a bunch of kids. And I think there's like a rabbit. One of their friends is like a rabbit or something. And that is all I know. I don't know where all. What was I gonna do? Oh, oh, the 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 camp, the camper. We're gonna see who's at the campsite. Uh, before I do that, I do have to show something real quick. Okay, I didn't know. I, I must have missed when Isabel said someone's at the campsite. All right, so yesterday I was on. Oh no, it wasn't yesterday. It was last week. So um. Oh yeah, I got other stuff I gotta show here too. Um. This is stuff from, like, the wedding. Everything. So, uh, in case you missed it, I made a Thundercats shirt for the <laughs> for the shop. <laughs> and and Marina was wearing it. I may not be the ideal model, but I'm excited to be seeing an original Thundercats t-shirt. <laughs> Thundercats shirt. <laughs> I, just I just love the fact that the residents randomly wear them. And, and they're, they're, they're commenting on them. Uh, also, before before Marina said some, at one point Marina said some stuff to Mira, but like they were singing together at one point, so that happened. Um, here's Anka wearing the Thundercat shirt, which I thought was kind of kind of cool. Made in Abyss is a disturbing anime about a girl trying to search for her mother in the abyss, and her robot friend trying to remember his lost memory. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was like one of the first things I, I made when I started this game because, you know, I stay on brand. I do find it ironic seeing, uh, if you name the village Thunder, I, if I could rename my island, I would, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, but I do find it ironic that, um, that Anka is wearing the Thundercat shirt considering her, uh, her house. I should make a shirt with Mumra's logo and see if she wears it. <laughs> that that would be way more appropriate. Anyway, so that happened. Um, oh yeah, here's here's Angus and Audie at the museum together. They they weren't in the same room, but they were they were in the rooms next to each other. So yeah, they're totally dating. Uh, here's Mira wearing the Thundercats. 
I hope, I hope you think you're awesome. I mean, you did design my Thundercat shirt. That's right, Mira. Mira knows what's up. Um, uh, was there anything else I want to show? Okay, so here's the other thing. Uh, last week, we had a, vis a visitor to my campsite. And it was Phoebe. Phoebe is one of the villagers I tried to get early on in the playthrough. Because she's one of the ones I, I had in pocket camp. Um, unfortunately, my... Okay, so apparently getting someone from, like, your campsite into your village is a bit of a pain because, like, they make you do... You gotta do, like, a game of chance or something. Like, they shuffle cards and you have to, like, draw a card and do stuff. And if you don't do it, they don't... They don't want to come unless you keep bothering them. Um, but, like, I couldn't... I couldn't get her, like, to join the village. And I was very upset about that because... I, I tried to get as many of the the villagers I knew from Pocket Camp, in the in, uh, you know, in, on the island. But I couldn't I couldn't get um I couldn't get Phoebe. Unfortunately, I would have had to kick someone out, and uh, you know that that's you know unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I couldn't get Phoebe to join. But uh, we got somebody here today, so let's go. Uh, Let's go welcome our new our new guest. Please don't be Raymond. Please don't be Raymond. Oh, it's a little frog. Hello. Puddles. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I'm Puddles. You live on this island, right? I run this island. Are you kidding me? I'm camping here. Going to kick back and chill on Alcatraz for a bit. <laughs> Let's hang out for a while while I'm here. That never, never gets old. All right. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Puddles. Hope you, hope you have fun. Man, that's it. Sucks. I couldn't get Phoebe to join. Phoebe also has probably my favorite house interior of any of the villagers, because I ran into her on a friend's island, and I saw the inside of her house. And it was awesome. So wait, when you get a second, look up Fee the interior of Phoebe's house. I would love to find like that that wallpaper and that that flooring. All right, let me put some stuff away. Oh, I have a Atlas moth. I gotta put that outside. My storage is getting kind of full. I gotta pay. Um, not on hand, but uh, if you if you like Google it or look it up, you'll you'll find it. Uh, oh boy, this is filling up. Uh, I gotta invite people to my island so I can give these away. Throw it on the ground! Um, I can sell them, but they're, they're pretty useful to hand out to people. But, um, yeah, I, maybe I, I might end up selling some of them. Because a lot of them are just stuff that, you know, you can just, you get early on in the game. And I don't know why they keep giving, giving those to me. That was another... Fossil over there. All right, I'll get that one tomorrow. Um, all right, what shall we do now? Oh, I know. I think we can... Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go through my storage and get rid of some stuff. Like I, I have so much in storage. Or we can give out some gifts, I think. Let's see, what do we got here? I got two cute chairs. I don't need two of those. I have, I have these benches that are... These are easier to make. I can get rid of these. I, I had these outside the, um, the plaza for a while. Two cute tables. 
futon. Two race car beds. Oh, I should give one of those to Hopkins. He'll love it. Uh, two safes. Um, these lanterns I'm going to keep because I was going to do something with those. I already had a DJ's turntable. Damn it. Vacuum cleaners. Street organs. So much junk. God, this is this is like me in real life. This is why I, I, I went to get rid of my CD collection. Go board. Exercise bike. I want to give one of these to, to Rudy, but I don't think I can give him a gift right now. Because he's, he's partying with Marina. Who's the only, apparently the only villager she hasn't ostracized. Or shun, uh, got, uh, gotten shunned from. I have three film projectors. What am, what am I doing with these? Broom, don't need that. Do I have any extra wallpapers? Any doubles? Purple, get rid of that. Well, they, they give you... Uh, what if Snake Eyes completed in total drama? Uh, if Snake Eyes competed in total drama, he would murder everybody. <laughs> Especially if it's G.I. Joe Resolute, Snake Eyes. Uh, the, I have two van. I'm going to hold on to these because these are kind of rare. <clears throat> Magical dress. I only need one of those. Well, I don't, I don't need one of those, but I might... So, some of this I want to keep for, like, gifts. You never know. I don't know whose birthday is coming up next. Uh, my music collection on iTunes? Uh, no, I don't use iTunes. I mostly just have a big MP3 collection. And it pretty much has everything I, I, I like... Or want, and if there's anything I need, I can just, you know, I can get it. Things are not hard to uh, <clears throat> get a hold of if you catch my drift. Uh, all right, I think that's all the furniture. I have plenty of these summer shells, so if I ever need to craft, uh, slide really ha had a depressing backstory in Thundercats 2000. If the show continued, there was going to be a lot of things happening if the show continued but once again we cannot have nice things two of those don't need two of those see i'm just going through to see if there's anything i missed i'm gonna get a lot of money for this oh, two of those Art. We could probably decorate a room. So we got we got extra time now. I got oh, I got two of these. Uh, these are different. Not that it really matters. Yeah, and you and you can reorder stuff if uh, if you need it. So well, most most things you can just reorder through the uh, the Nook thingy. Um. Yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm missing just one one quick swipe through here. You need to rework my James Bond and Wolf Children crossover fanfic. Boy, you just love those crossover fan fictions, huh? My pockets are full. Oh no. That's how you know you have too much stuff. But I guess those are the most fun to to write. I mean, I, that's kind of what I did when I was writing fan fiction, and I, I did a whole video about that. All right, let's get rid of this crap. Hey, boys, I brung you some junk. Let's see how much all this is worth.
21. Really? That's it? Eh. What a ripoff. I mean, a lot of that I got for free anyway, so I guess it's not, not too bad. Okay. Let's put the excess bells in the bank. I think I might want to do some crafting. I have I have tons of recipes and I have tons of material. So we can maybe make some cool stuff. Just just for fun. There we go. Yeah, crossovers are, are always fun. There, there's been a huge trend of crossover comic books in the past couple of years. Especially with stuff, you know, that IDW owns. I mean, they had the, um... They had the Transformers Star Trek ones. Yeah, Thundercats go, I mean, crap. I mean, yeah, Thundercats crap. <laughs> Just crap. Yes, it is. It's hard convincing people that it is, but it is. But yeah, there's the, um, there's the crossover with uh, Transformers and, and Star Trek, which was pretty good. Star Trek, the animated series, too. Which is very rare to find anything about that these days. Um, there was the... There's the Ghostbusters Transformers one, which I haven't read yet, which I would really want to. Uh, G.I. Joe and... You even cross over G.I. Joe with Secret of the Kells. Oh, my God. That sounds... Messy. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, I... I another film... For, ah, all right, well... I'll, I'll sell it later. Uh, let's see here. Let me let me see if there's anything I can make that, that looks kind of cool. All this wooden crap. Trophy case. I already have one of those. Uh, uh, the dark wooden mosaic wall. That's the thing that Mira Mira had. Recycle boots. Stone stuff. Iron stuff. Armored shoes. Oh yeah, there's like a whole knight outfit you can make. Oh, there, there's, um... There's the... Oh, right! I have the golden toilet! <laughs> I gotta make that. I think Anka gave that to me. Which further proves Anka is one of my best villagers. I have all this cool stuff, but I need a lot of different things to make them. Rocket gold armor... Which I don't have. Rusted part, which I do. 30 rusted parts. Holy crap. Well, the fanfic itself is mostly about Asling growing up with Cobra Commander after he built a base. <laughs> oh, jeez. I bet she wasn't wasn't happy about that. Yes, I okay, I know what we're gonna do. Let me uh We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little upgrade. Where's my gold? Where the gold at? That's craftable, yes. I made a golden toilet. Oh boy, we you need to you, you know what we're gonna do with this, right? We're gonna we're gonna upgrade my private bathroom. What's your thought on this uh, season seven of Star Wars: The Clone Wars, the final episode? Um, I thought season seven was great. Might as well dig this up here while I'm here. I'm I'm shocked that that Clone Wars came back at all. But season seven is great. The I forget the guy's name. The the guy that voices Darth Maul is an amazing voice actor. Like, the, the emotions in, in his performance were so good. I, I was actually kind of shocked that that was the last episode. I thought maybe there would be more, but I guess not. All right. Welcome to my private bathroom. All right, you see how we have this old, like, non-gold toilet? Well, that's going away. 
now. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm the king, baby. Move that to side. There we go. Can we still can it still be seen? Pretty much. Yeah, it's it's fine. All right, cool. And now we take this pedestrian toilet and let's just let's just get rid of that bitch. Look at your crapper cat from Aquatina. Carl from Aquatina. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't need you. All right. This one won't chop me up though. At least I hope it won't. I kind of want to rewatch some Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I was watching uh, James Rolfe for review on it, and I forgot how like legitimately funny that show was. <laughs> Rachio pelvis, yay! Thank you. Yep, we're good, Blathers. See you next month when we have the new fish and bugs. A lot of interesting new bugs for next month. Apparently, most of them can be found on the trees. Which is why I'm, I've littered my island with trees, so we can get them as fast as possible. I'm gonna sell this. It's a pity there isn't any mutant berserkers or lunatics in the Thundercat series, considering they have uh, Groon the Destroyer, the evil Thundercat, yeah, there's a lot they could have did with that show, but I, I think they they did the best they could with it. They they it certainly fared a lot better than Silverhawks did. All right, give me that, give me that pelvis money. Still haven't seen Audie anywhere. Did she go back home yet? Hey, there she is. Yo, where you been? What a super evening, Cottontail. Stop saying Cottontail. It's Mirror's catchphrase. Hey, I lost my voice. I was trying to be a heavy metal singer instead of a pop star. I am so not metal. You just got to assert yourself. Anyone can be metal as long as they assert, they assert themselves. All right, I tell you what. Um, so Thundercats like Scooby-Doo to rank and bass, right? Uh, I, I guess. I don't know if that's, uh, that's accurate. I mean, Scooby-Doo's, Scooby-Doo constantly gets reinvented. Thundercats is kind of, well, as far as I'm concerned, Thundercats is on the shelf. Like, there, there's... They they haven't had any any anything new and uh, new that is good in a while. The last new good thing I saw from Thundercats was the comic that crossed over with Masters of the Universe. That was awesome. All right, so let's go visit an island. We haven't done that in a while since we're hanging out. See what kind of adventure we can go on. Maybe we'll catch a shark. Oh, God. We walked out on a high note. Jeez. My thoughts on Thund Thundar? Thundar the Barbarian? Uh, I remember watching it and being kind of confused and freaked out by the fact that they dated the end of the world to 1994. Or the Evil Chaser episode was pretty funny. Uh, Mon Mondra kept calling Lionel an idiot. <laughs> what? 
Oh, the... Oh, you're talking about... Was that a Thundercats Roar episode? Because I... I'll be honest, I, I could care less. I'm gonna I watched my enough to do my review and I'm I walked away from it. Was it? Uh Are there new episodes of that or they just kinda give up on it? Cause I know I know there were more episodes and then they had they had the crossover with Teen Titans Go because of course they did. This Princess Ar Oh yeah, her name was Princess Ariel. <laughs> it it was it was clearly an attempt to cash in on He-Man, but it didn't didn't quite work out. Uh, it's probably not canceled because you know we we live in an age of stubbornness. All right, let's see if we can catch uh, find a find a, pl uh, a plant, a furniture, and possibly sharks in a summer shell. I might pick some of these weeds, because apparently there's a Nook Mile thing for selling weeds. Weeds. Plural. Not weed. It's totally weed. <laughs> I think everybody that's played this game has made that joke. Oh, you're buying weeds, huh? <laughs> Nope. 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 This is why I'm going to publish my work on DeviantArt. I, I hear a lot of people get, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of attention on DeviantArt. I know we live in an age where a lot of um, a lot of artists get professional jobs for like posting on Tumblr and stuff. So you you you're uh, you'd be good to do that so you can get some attention. Here we gotta go up up up. We're cleaning up the island. Even though we're never coming back here, and no one else probably ever will, but we're we're good people. Alright. It's gotta be one of these. Not that one. Definitely not that one. Yeah. Tumblr is dead. Well, eh. I mean, it, it's still there. It's just, I think, because of their whole... That, that ridiculous policy they put in, they're just not as as profitable. You know, not, not profitable is wrong. Um, not as used anymore. But I, I know a lot of people, back when Tumblr was big, got work off of there. This has got to be it, right? Yeah, there it is. Waspinator. Arcade seat? Ooh, what does that look like? Maybe I can put that in my basement. Alright, we got all the weed. We weeds. We got the weeds. Okay, let me uh, check over here. See if we can catch a shark on stream. Oh, wait, nope. Found more. More weeds. What policy? Um, they did an entire ban on any adult related artwork. Basically, basically porn. 
if you're posting porn on Tumblr, they they age restricted your your site or your account or something like that. And a lot of people were not too happy about that. And then apparently Tumblr got sold to some some other company for like a real like a ridiculously low amount. Every time I see the title Beast Star, I keep thinking of Beast Wars. Yeah, I tried watching that anime. I didn't. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really grab me. Sad to say, because I know a lot of people really like it, but just didn't do anything for me. Don't see any fins. No sharks here. All right, no sharks. Send me home. Yes. Doll. Yeah, um, don't don't quote me on that exactly, but I think it was something something to that effect. I know they they did go through like a rampant um, like quote unquote cleansing of of adult content. And a lot of things got restricted. You can't even access it unless you have an account. Let me go sell. Let me go sell my weeds. You kind of like the be. Yeah, I know a lot of people do. the The thing is, I have um. When it comes to anime, because I've been burned so many times, because there's a lot of a lot of anime, I feel like I've wasted a lot of my time on. Um, I have what I like to call a three-episode trial run. I don't mind adult content as long as it doesn't harm anyone. Yeah, most people don't, but the, the, I guess, former owners of Tumblr disagreed. Um, when it comes to anime, I have a three-episode trial run. Where, uh, if an anime doesn't grab me in three episodes, then I don't continue with it. Oh yeah, it has a good dub. I loved the dub of uh, is he greedy weeder? There we go. Sold some more. Sold some more weeds. Weeds, plural. Um, oh yeah, let's go look at the arcade seats. See if I can put it in the basement. Uh, I really liked the dub of Cells at Work. I I really liked Cells at Work. I I liked it so much I actually watched it twice. And I, I don't think there's too many anime I can say that about. I watched it once when it originally came out. And then I watched it again when it got dubbed. Okay, arcade seat. Let's see what this... Hey, look at that. Hopefully this doesn't... Yeah, this is going to get in the way, unfortunately. Right, well, no, no, you can get, get through there. <laughs> Tumblr got busted for kitty. Oh, did they? I love the anime Dororo and made it the best of my two favorite anime. Uh, there's an anime I've been watching lately that some friends recommended to me, and I, I, I got surprisingly like invested in it. And it's on Netflix. If anybody wants to check it out, it's called High Score Girl. It's about um. It's mostly about gaming in the 90s, like, it, but it, from Japan, obviously. So there's a lot of references to, well, it, it and I'm kind of shocked that they got this many companies to work together because they have like Street Fighter and there's Mortal Kombat in it and a whole bunch of like other games, a lot of obscure games too. And it's mostly, uh, it's it's like kind of wrapped around this kind of adorable like coming-of-age love story between these two kids who kind of bonded over Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I highly recommend that if uh, you ever check that out. Looking for a new anime to watch. Alright, what else can we do? We can 
going to go on a patrol, see if we can catch a shark. Because I did not catch the whale shark or the sawfish on stream. So, it would be nice if we can do that. River crab! And there goes my water. Audie doing some late night exercises. No sharks. No sharks. Man, I'm glad I caught all the sharks because they, they seem to be kind of, uh, what was that? Nope. I always wanted to make an animated movie about, uh, clock train that could travel through the universe like it's like Ghibli combined with the Hobbit and James Bond combined <laughs> maybe some Thundercats stuff too yeah just throw everything in there no sharks that's a ribbon eel we're not catching that because those things are weird seen any sharks we'll go back around and maybe we'll do uh, do a little decorating and crafting working on enough for like five or four years maybe <laughs> jeez you're real busy uh, I too have been working on you know several things that I would like to get produced slash published. I have a big story that I outlined, and I would I would love for it to be an animated series, but from where I'm I'm sitting right now, that's kind of hey, there's one. Uh, it's kind of unrealistic. So I'd I'd per, I'd be fine settling for a novel or maybe a graphic novel. All right, shark. Gotcha. Be a big boy. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Whale shark. I caught a whale shark. I'm telling you, it was this big. Let me just put that in my pocket. Cool. All right. Well, I caught the whale shark on stream. I've, I, think, <laughs> I think we're good. Anything, any any others? Any stragglers around here? Nope. All right, whale shark. You shall guard the, the cape. There you are. Gonna sell you to CJ. And he's gonna do whatever it is CJ does with his fish. Alright, let's do a little decorating. I'm probably not going to be streaming for much longer, but uh, maybe we can get, get something started here. Um, these are my, these are my uh, lightning bugs. My, uh, uh, I got the inspiration for my story after watching the first Percy Jackson Hobbit movies in theater. Ah, cool. These are my fireflies. I, I don't know why I kept them. I think they're, they're, they're fun source of light. I'm going to have Flick make a model out of these. I'm hoping the model actually uh, does something. You know what? I'm going to pick all these up and move these out of this room. We can get, get some space here. Oh, 
Oh, let me get, get rid of that. Yeah, so let's, let's litter in this room. Uh, your sketches on DeviantArt. My account is quickfire9988. Cool. Yeah, content. <laughs> All right. All right, what shall we do with this room? I kind of want to make like a spooky room. And I have, um, I got, like, Skull Wall, Red Art Deco Wall, let's get the Skull Wall. My thoughts on Dick Tracy, um, I loved the movie when it came out, it was the first time I ever heard of Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy had a cartoon, too, and it's, um... A little bit racist. <clears throat> In fact, I, I distinctly remember watching it on TV and then suddenly a lot of episodes like they never aired again <laughs> because because of the stereotypes. Ooh, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, can I turn? Fireflies look cool at night. Favorite Dick Tracy villain? Oh, the wall glows in the dark. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that that is nice. I like that. Favorite Dick Tracy villain? Um. Hmm. From the movie, I kind of liked I kind of liked Flat Top and Itchy together. They were they were kind of funny. Wow, that's neat. We got to definitely got to do something in here. All right, do we have any any spooky items I can toss in here? Uh, I have Throwback Gothic Mirror. I know I have skull yeah, skull radios. Put that in there. Could put, could play some uh, spooky music. I know I have a, a spooky uh, KK slider thing, fortune telling set. Mm, eh. What about furniture? Do I have any like weird furniture? Nope, not really. Do I have anything I can make, actually? Favorite Dick Tracy villain is probably Prune Face, probably because I love his face. <laughs> I was always confused by him. I wasn't sure if he was he was an old man or if he just had a skin condition. Get, get those skeletons. Oh, yeah, I have these candles. I think I can I can customize these. Do I have all do, oh, do I do I have the customization kits? That's the question. Uh I don't think I have any customization kits. Damn it. All right, something for next time. Oh, it's a skin condition. Okay. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up.
Alright, apparently I don't have that many spooky items. Yeah, it's more medical. Antique clock. Maybe maybe that can fit in. So let's see what we have that might might be able to fit in. Uh yeah, we might might have to uh, might have to come back to this project because it doesn't seem like I have much to put in here. I seen the Dick Tracy cartoon. And yeah, it's racist. The only thing I was interested in the cartoon were were the villains. Yeah. What what pissed me off about the cartoon though is the fact that it's Dick Tracy's cartoon, but he didn't do anything in them. He would get the report. And then he would call one of his, his goofy cartoon sidekicks to, to take the bad guy out. Like, what a, what a rip-off. Uh, I, need a, I need a table for that. This will do for now. All right, let's uh, do some quick remodeling. I'll leave that. Let me uh, let me move these. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put these like on the perimeter of the room, just so just so I have space to work. Uh, Deviant kind of shot themselves in the foot by focusing by forcing users to eclipse the eclipse layout. They have a new layout. I don't know. I haven't really gone to DeviantArt in forever. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with these wedding candles. Oh, shoot. Ah. Skeleton. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're get we're getting something something started here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me see if I let me uh, nook miles on uh, check DIY resume. Let's see if I See if I have any uh, anything interesting I can make for this room. Uh, golden candlestick that might that might fit. Um, what if Mumra gained Unicron's power? That sounds like a terrible situation. Uh, crest door plate that looks like it might fit. Uh, gar all the garbage things. Nah. <sighs> oh, I'm back. All right, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Yo, Poke Nutcase. What's up? I actually have quite a few people in chat tonight. This is great. There's actually, um, uh, sorry, I blanked for a second. The, um, the, the Twitch has this thing where you can, I'm going to maybe try and make that. Well, Megatron didn't gain Unicron's power and look how it turned. True. True. Um, Twitch has this thing where they want, um, in order to like 
forward like like they have like achievements kind of and it's like how do you get from like regular user to affiliate to whatever the next thing is for that or whatever i i might have had that i might have that backwards anyway they have this thing where you have to like do achievements like uh you have to you have to you know play a certain amount of a stream a certain amount of hours a certain amount of days or whatever one of the achievements is have five people in chat uh, have five, five people uh, chatting at once and I've not been able to do that it's been stuck at four since I started playing See, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the golden candlestick do I recall watching the sitcom dinosaurs yes I do I remember watching it. I remember the ending to that, and it was messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make this crest door uh, crest door plate out of iron, and maybe some golden candlesticks. Uh, well, mm, I don't know. It depends on how much how much gold I have left. Let's see how much gold do, do I have? Twelve. All right, I can make a. I'll make two. Oh, I did. I did have customization kits. Oh shoot! All right. Let me uh go see if I can customize those candles to look more uh more spooky. Wait, I have to. I have to get the candles first. Oh, I have wall candles. Oh, I have one. That's okay. I could order more. We're gonna make a lot, put a lot of candles in this room. Customize. Can't customize the wall mount of candles. I can customize these. Yeah, that looks nice. One of uh, one of the story in my Cyber Six volume, I have Cyber Six becoming a stunt person in a show or movie because Lori was in a bad situation. I don't. Uh, I know I only managed to translate half of the comic with Google Word. I, I'm pretty sure if you dig deep em enough, you can find a, a fan-translated comic. I just never got around to doing that. These wedding candles are nice and spooky now. One more. Alright, done for now. See how these look. I need to get more tables. I need to get more more things for the candles to sit on. Oh, I love the way that looks. Yeah. Spooky house. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. I didn't want to put that in storage. Let's um let's see the the wall. Oh, I have the antique clock too. See, let's see what the wall mounted candle looks like. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna get more of those. All right, let me let me go get the candle that my dumbass put into storage. There it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can turn I can turn them off too. Okay, this is this is shaping up pretty good aside from the the, the lightning bugs, but we're those aren't going to be here forever. Uh, I'm going to go order some more of those wall candles cuz those are kind of nice. The other two stories were a lot weirder. One with the revolving around Lucas' childhood uh, friend being trapped in a woman's body and doing adult stuff. Jeez, really? Man, Cyber 6 was messed up. Everyone's still chilling with it. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Actually, shoot, I could I could have did this for my phone. God damn it! Eh. Wall mounted. Okay, there we go. Wall mounted T wall mounted phone, wall mounted candle, yes. Oh, I can I right, I can only do Eh, dang it. Make sure you Jose even did some of the Oh jeez. That's terrible. I guess I'm kind of I'm pretty happy with how the uh, the show turned out. Then it was way better. It didn't have any of that stuff in it. Uh, all right. Well, the candles are not going to be coming until tomorrow, so we'll uh, we'll continue this project some other time. Actually, I just thought of something. Hold on. So up in my room, I have one of Red's bogus artworks. The uh, the the painting with the uh, the painting with the lady holding the ferret. Apparently, in the original painting, the ferret's supposed to be white. So Red decided to make the ferret look like a ferret. Uh, on, if I can be completely honest, though, I kind of like it better this way. <laughs> The original painting is very nice, but uh, this this one's actually a little bit better. That that looks spooky enough to go in the spooky room. Let's uh, let's go grab that. And I I guess I have to store it. Okay, we'll store it. Maybe I can get another one of those uh, sinking paintings, the Hamlet sinking paintings. Okay, uh, hang on wall. Oh right, it's in, pff, it's in storage, I forgot. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, I had this other painting too. Let's, move, let's put that on. Maybe we'll see. We'll see which one looks better. <clears throat> Losing my voice. I, de I definitely got to stop streaming soon. Okay. Uh, pockets. That right there. There. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I'd imagine so. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I mean, from what I've what I've heard about the comic, I'm sure I'm sure it was just the the tip of the iceberg. All right. Well, you can't really see it, but once uh, once I get a little bit more light in here, I'm sure it'll be fine. There's an English translation of Cyber Six on YouTube. Oh, cool. You know what I would love to see is the uh, the the Argentinian uh, TV show based on Cyber Six because apparently it was terrible. Although, from what I understand, it's kind of lost media. Because there didn't seem to be any clips of it anywhere. I can only find still images. Uh, we also got to do something with this room. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what, what to do in here. I forgot I had an arowana in here. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm just trying to turn this into like a weird, trippy thing. I do love this floor, though. That is really cool. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I've been doing this for almost two hours. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll be back with Animal Crossing uh, when there's new updates and stuff and uh, new fish and bugs to catch and donate and possibly... Uh, too bad you don't have a Rob used to watch. You don't do Rob used to watch anymore. Yeah, I, I, I that one kind of petered out a long time ago, but uh, I, I put the only two episodes of it up on Patreon. So if anybody wants to watch it, you can check those out. Um, let's see, uh, here I need to go back uh, working on fanfic. Uh, all right, yeah, good night. Um, thanks for the stream. Looks like an interesting game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun, Thundercats. So oh, thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, if you haven't given me a follow yet, uh, if you enjoyed the stream, uh, be sure to give me a follow. Uh, I'm hoping I got that to have five people chatting at once achievement already. So maybe uh, get that out of the way. And be sure to go to Rob the Casual Gamer to, have, uh, to check out stream uploads and other videos. I'd love to see an episode of Carmen San Diego Game Show. I had I had ideas for a couple of them, but uh, they kind of it, again it kind of fell fell through. So um, you know you know how it is. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a follow if you haven't already. Again, and go to Rob the Casual Gamer and subscribe for stream uploads and everything. And uh, I'll be back sometime soon with uh, a new game and we'll return to animal crossing when we get some new stuff going on so uh thanks for joining me have a good night and i will see you guys later